Hello and welcome to the Lake Mead and Hoover Dam update for August 2024. The water level at the Lake Mead Reservoir is currently 1,062 feet 6 inches above mean sea level. That's an increase of 4 inches since our last update. The water level peaked in early March and has declined by over 14 feet since that time. The current water level is 112 feet above minimum power pool and 157 feet below the full pool elevation. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. The Bureau of Reclamation has just released the August 24 month study report and it's packed with important information. Today, we'll be covering the key points of that report, starting with the water restrictions set for the 2025 water year. After that, we'll go over the latest Lake Mead water level statistics. And finally, we'll take a quick look at Lake Powell's water level and the overall status of the Colorado River storage system. There's a lot to discuss today, so let's get to it. Hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. The Bureau of Reclamation recently announced that the Tier 1 water storage will remain in effect for 2025. Reclamation releases a water level projections report every month. If you watch my videos, you know how I like to point out how inaccurate these water level projections are. But regardless of how inaccurate these reports are, they are still relied upon to determine both the Hoover Dam and Glen Canyon Dam's operations. Reclamation uses the results from the August water level forecast report that just came out a few days ago to determine if there should be water restrictions for the 2025 water year. According to this report, Reclamation projects Lake Mead's water level to be below the 1,075 foot level, but above the 1,050 foot level. That water level projection triggers the tier one water level restrictions for the lower basin states. This is a chart of the various tier levels and the associated water restrictions. Under Tier 1, Arizona is required to cut 512,000 acre-feet from its 2.8 million acre-feet annual allotment of Colorado River water. Nevada will have to cut 24,000 acre-feet from its 300,000 acre-feet allocation, and Mexico will need to cut 80,000 acre-feet from its 1.5 million acre-feet allocation. States in both the upper and lower Colorado River basins are allocated 7.5 million acre-feet of water each year, with an additional 1.5 million acre-feet designated for Mexico. This brings the total allocation of Colorado River water to 16.5 million acre-feet annually. However, according to the Bureau of Reclamation officials, the river only provides about 12.5 million acre-feet per year. To address this shortfall between allocated water and actual water supply, the tiered water restrictions have been implemented. Arizona will bear the majority of these water cuts, reducing its Colorado River allocation by 18%. Meanwhile, California will not face any reductions to its 4.4 million acre feet allocation despite having the largest share of Colorado River water among both the upper and lower basin states, California's senior water rights shield its allocation from these Tier 1 water restrictions. The same water level forecast that triggers tiered water restrictions also dictates the amount of water released from Lake Powell through the Glen Canyon Dam. According to this report, Lake Powell's water level is projected to be below 3,575 feet, but above 3,525 feet. This elevation falls within the mid-elevation release tier, requiring Glen Canyon Dam to release 7,480,000, I'm sorry, 7,480,000 acre feet from Lake Powell during the 2025 water year. Since both Tier 1 water restrictions and the mid-elevation release tier were implemented for the 2024 water year, these same operational strategies will apply to both Lake Mead and Lake Powell for next year, the 2025 water year. Another interesting item I found in the August projections report is Lake Powell's inflow forecasts. The inflow into Lake Powell for the month of July was 647,000 acre feet. 
That's just 67% of average. The forecast for August is 210,000 acre feet of inflow, or only 56% of its historical average inflow. Let's move on to the Lake Mead statistics. We'll start with an overview of how Lake Mead performed in the month of July. Last month, 713,000 acre feet of water was released from Lake Powell, the reservoir that is located just upstream from Lake Mead. As that water flowed down from the Glen Canyon Dam, it picked up another 28,000 acre feet from side inflows from sources like the Little Colorado River and the Virgin River. But 49,000 acre feet was lost on that journey due to evaporation. That gives us a total of 692,000 acre feet of inflow that was added to the Lake Mead Reservoir during the month of July. Now let's take a look at outflows of water from Lake Mead. In the month of July, Hoover Dam released a total of 755,000 acre feet of water. So with total inflows of 692,000 acre feet and outflows of 755,000 acre feet, the Lake Mead Reservoir lost 63,000 acre feet of water in the month of July. Here's a chart showing Lake Mead's water level for the 2024 water year, which started on October 1st, 2023. At the beginning of the water year, Lake Mead was at an elevation of 1,065 feet 10 inches. The water level dropped slightly in October, hitting a low of 1,064 feet 7 inches on November 17th. Over the next three months, the water level rose by 12 feet, peaking on March 4th at the three-year high of 1,076 feet 7 inches. After that, the water level declined through April, May, and June. Then, beginning in July, the water level decline stopped, and in the past two weeks, the water level has actually started to increase a little bit. There are two reasons for this. First, water releases from the Glen Canyon Dam and its reservoir, Lake Powell, have increased. Here is a chart of releases from Lake Powell. Again, Lake Powell is located just upstream from Lake Mead, so water released from Lake Powell goes directly into Lake Mead. As you can see, releases from Powell are increased in July and August, so more water is flowing into Lake Mead. The second reason is that releases from Hoover Dam and its reservoir Lake Mead have declined since July 1st. In June, Hoover Dam released 948,000 acre feet. In July, they released 755,000 acre feet. And in August, just 617,000 acre feet will be released. The current elevation of 1,062 feet 6 inches is 93 feet below the 1,155 foot average for this time of year. The highest water level at Lake Mead was recorded on July 24, 1983 at 1,225 feet. The record low water elevation was set on July 28, 2022, when the water level dropped to just 1,040 feet 7 inches. Lake Mead's full pool capacity is 28.2 million acre feet. The average capacity for this time of year is 18,406,000 acre feet. The current capacity of the Lake Mead Reservoir is 8,611,000 acre feet. And the record low was set in July of 2022 when the capacity dropped to 7,018,000 acre feet. And now for the most shocking statistic of them all, Lake Mead Reservoir, the nation's largest, remains at just 32% of its full pool capacity. Now let's head 230 miles upstream from Lake Mead to see how Lake Powell is doing. This is a chart of Lake Powell's water level for the 2024 water year. Of course, we had the long water level decline during the winter months. Then in mid-April, the water level started to rise as the snow melt started to make its way into the reservoir. That rise in water levels increased significantly in mid-May as the snow melt runoff surged into Lake Powell. The water level hit its peak for the year on July 9th at 3,587 feet. Since that peak in July, the water level has been on the decline. 
Now remember, Lake Mead's water level was steadily declining, but reversed course in early July. And Lake Powell's water level was increasing, but it too reversed course in early July. That's because these two reservoirs are managed as a system. Looking at the status of a single reservoir does, although useful, does not really give the entire picture. That's why I, I include Lake Powell and the total system storage in this Lake Mead update. Now let's check out the total system storage. This is a chart of the total Colorado River system storage. The chart is very similar to Lake Powell's. We have the steady decline throughout winter, the slight increase in May, followed by the sharp increase from April until early July. The storage capacity peaked on July 7th with 26.3 million acre feet of water in storage. Since that peak, the storage capacity has declined by 684,000 acre feet to 25.6 million acre feet. That's almost exactly the same water level at this time last year. Hey, that's all I have for this week. I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.